Whatcha doing, Mom? Plucking my eyebrows. Doesn't it hurt? A little. <laughs> then how come you do it? Because it looks better. Why? Because my eyebrows have a nicer shape. This is Hair Commandant Stacy. Now listen up, men. Either shape up or ship out. Now fall in. That's more like it. What you doing now? Toning my skin. Why? What's this? Vanishing cream. What's it for? So these wrinkles will disappear. Why? Why, why, why? I've got a why for you, Stacy. Why is this room such a mess? allowance for two weeks. Young lady, you're not leaving this room until every bit of this mess has disappeared. Mom won. Stacy, zip. Cleaning your room, huh? No, duh. My mom says I can't go out until it's all put away. <gasps> See you next summer. Real mature, Bradley. Hey, stay away from that stuff. Why? Because it's my mom's makeup for your big fat information, so don't touch it. Why? Because it's the lipstick of ultimate doom. Why? Because if you touch it, we're both going to get killed. Why? Big mistake. Because my mom wants to look younger. Why? You're starting to bug me, Bradley. Why? Stop saying it. Why, why? I'm warning you, Bradley. Why, 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 why? Real mature, Bradley. What's this? Vanishing cream. Cool. What's that? It makes wrinkles disappear. Well, those look pretty wrinkled. Bradley! Yo, wrinkles, prepare to vanish. Whoa! Hey, let me see that. This room ain't big enough for the both of us, you smelly heap of junk. One of us is just gonna have to disappear. Well, I guess we cleaned up this room, but good. Can I have it? Why? Because I want to try something. Why? Cut it out, Stacy. Why, why? Just let me have it, okay? Beg pardon? I said let me have it. I'm going back to bed. Okay, you asked for it. Ah! You thinking what I'm thinking? Okay, B Man. When I give the signal, you lift Frank over your head. Why? Don't start, Bradley. Just do it. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the amazing Stacy Serini will perform incredible feats of magic, feats of wonder, feats... My feats are killing me. I will levitate my lovely assistant and handsome wiener dog, the amazing Frank, right off the ground before your very eyes. You are weightless, Frank. Easy for you to say. Shh, you're gonna blow it. I'm gonna blow something. Just hurry up. Why? Because you'll be sorry. All right, Frank. You will slowly come back down to Earth. <laughs> Encore. <laughs> Stacy, I've been thinking about what I said, and I'm sorry. I didn't... <laughs> Whoa, dude, shoes. You want them? Hey, you guys. You seen Bradley around here? Who? Scradley. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Scradley. That's the one. Hey. I'm warning you. Oh, yeah? I didn't say anything. 
Hey! Aw, oh, man! Get it off me! Now I got your bugs. You know, when you're angry... Uh-oh. You look just like a big hairy gorilla, for your big fat information. Is that right? Only the gorilla's a lot cuter. Bradley! Told you you'd be sorry. You gotta hit me with it! Why? Why, why? Because I said so! Did I mention that the gorilla smells better, too? Okay, okay, because you're the smartest kid I know. And? What? My intellectual talents are dwarfed by my sense of decency and my uncanny artistic flair. Oh, brother. Oh, that. Okay, okay, your intellectual talents are dwarfed by your sense of decency and your... Uncanny. And your uncanny artistic flair, okay? Now say it like you mean it. Where'd you go? Who? Spooky. I've never seen anything like it. Arr? Clean. She's really flipped. I'm worried, Stanley. Do you think I was too hard on her? Oh, now, Stell, we'll get to the bottom of this. <laughs> There's Mr. Doddler. Need any help, Mr. D? Well, that's mighty nice of you, whoever you are. Wherever you are. I gotta get these glasses checked. Have you seen Stacy? Yeah, for a minute. But then she disappeared. Disappeared? Foot. You really think this is a good idea, Bradley? It says do not open. Not anymore. This is worse than I thought. We gotta do it for all kid kind. We'll be heroes for this someday. And the lifetime prize for bravery and getting rid of Mr. Coffin's uh, spanking cabinet goes to. Uh, hey, that's us. Over here. I am. Um... <clears throat> this is a nightmare. Nobody can see us, even if we want them to. Does this stuff have a reverse? What are we going to do? I need ice cream. At a time like this? It always helps me think. What'll it be? A triple chocolate fudge nut ripple, please. And a banana fudge volcano. Two bucks even. Here you go. Come on, pay up. We did. Uh-oh. Run for it! Hey, come back here. Help, police! <laughs> oh, hello, Mr. Doddler. Well, hello there. Have you seen Stacy? Well, I don't know. A couple of nice kids helped me with my laundry. Bradley must be with her. I can't say I saw him, though. How's that, Mr. D? Well, what the? Remain calm. There's no need to panic. What's going on, officer? Somebody's messing with the system, ma'am. Took two cones without peeing. Stanley, do you think it's them? Nah, couldn't be. Don't worry, Mrs. Stickler. Presumption of innocence until proving guilty is the cornerstone of our code of criminal justice. Thank you, Polly. All right, you kids. We know you're around here somewhere. Stacy? It's Mom. Honey, please, come back home. That's my mom! I'm sorry I made you clean up your room. We gotta get visible. How? Well, think of something. Come on! <laughs> That's police property, ma'am. Well, it's my daughter. You haven't been through training! And you haven't been through 26 hours of labor! <laughs> Cut it out. That tickles, Frank. Look, 
The Germanic American canine has inadvertently located the geographically unaccounted for person. Bradley? Stacy? Mom! Oh, honey, we were so worried. Why? Because we didn't want you to get hurt. Why? Because we love you, that's why. Stanley, look at Bradley. Uh, both of you. And don't ever disappear like that again, understand? Why? Why?